So we're preparing for our second day of the School of Mary in Knock on April the 20th. And I know a lot of people have been contacting me. I'm getting the odd phone call. Is there still spaces? So yes, there's a few, few, small number of spaces, like very few. Um, but we are really maxed out, to be honest, um, for the venue that we have. And, um, you know, it's great to see this interest. The Holy Spirit seems to be moving. There's a great hunger for faith formation, for formation and prayer. If you get the Catechism of the Catholic Church, I like this edition because uh, there's an author in here that is a good friend of mine. Uh, he's, he's, he's published in this in this particular piece of the, and and he was like literally he was like one of my spiritual mentors back in the day very good priest very good night and I, I was glad to see him published here so I like I, I do like the catechism I know there's a lot of debate about different catechisms in the church but the uh, this one uh, help can help us in our faith formation you know it's 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 a good it's a good place of course you can read all of the other ones the traditional ones the the council of trent catechism or, or the different ones that are published um, and they will all they should all help you in your faith formation but there's one part in this catechism the fourth part which talks about christian prayer it is key it is key remember remember guys everything we do in the church is so that we know him more everything that our lady is doing is so that we know him more that's really it you know and where do we go to know christ more into prayer that can be in a beautiful liturgy because liturgy will lead to contemplation it also leads us a good liturgy will also lead, lead you to a good reception of the eucharist there's nothing more beautiful than a silent, beautiful Mass and you kneel down and receive our Lord in the Eucharist in reverence, in silence. Very mystical. I mean, the reception of the Eucharist in the traditional Latin Mass is a very mystical experience. If you're going, you know, with love in your heart, good confession, there to receive sanctifying graces, it, it's a beautiful experience. So there is something there. I'd love somebody to do a study in years to come just on the silent reception of the Eucharist. You know, oftentimes in the new mass, you're there, Corpus Christi or body of Christ. Amen. There's a whole dynamic there in receiving communion, which doesn't exist in the traditional at mass. You're completely in peace. You're completely in silence. You're kneeling for reception of the communion. You don't need to say anything. You can just close your eyes and open your mouth and receive our Lord. It's very profound. But anyway, just going off there a little bit. But as I said, part four of the catechism is Christian prayer. So it goes through different aspects. The age of the church, um, all wellsprings of prayer, the way to prayer, the guides for prayer, expressions of prayer, the battle of prayer, the prayer of the hour of Jesus, the summary of the whole gospel, the Our Father art in heaven the seven petitions the final doxology etc etc and i i just thought it's as i said it's a starting point but it's not exhaustive do you know what i mean we could you could actually have a catechism just on prayer you could actually expand out the fourth section of the catechism and just have a catechism on prayer uh, but sadly, a lot of people don't even know the catechism. So, you know, let's not let's not walk, uh, run before we can walk. But I just thought I would take you through some of the books that we have for the School of Prayer. Because I have just a few of them. I just thought I'd, uh, ten of them, ten of Jean Curie's books. And the first book is this one. This is the one that got me attracted to the School of Prayer. It is Praying with the Heart. So you can get this in Knock Bookstore. And a big thank you, massive thank you to Knock Bookstore. Please go to our National Eucharistic and Marian Shrine. They have some excellent books there. A wide selection, like you can't fault Knock Bookstore. They will carry whatever sells in the Catholic world, you know. So 
uh, go to Knock Bookstore, support and get this. This is the book, the first book that I that I got when when I was um was looking at prayer. And it's it really changed how I viewed prayer. I was thinking, wow, this is very very practical. Very pra- it, it, the the nuts and bolts of prayer of 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 how God works in us. And I just thought it's a fantastic book. Another book that I've been reading, I just get it here. Uh, and then there's the there's the uh, if there is in print. You have the little catechism, a small catechism of prayer of the heart as well. And this is a questions and answers. Uh, Lexio Divina. Lexio Divina. Jan has these two books you can buy. You have the. Lexio Divina School of Mary and you have the the method for Lexio Divina I do recommend you get this I, I it has really transformed uh, how you read sacred scripture especially now with the new lectionary in uh, in, the, in the mass you know those readings sacred scripture our Lord has left them there for us to meditate on and so it's good to take it into your daily practice of prayer to do Lexio Divina to read the gospel of the day as it's as as we rotate through a three-year cycle so these are some of the books that you can you can come out and support um another book that I've been I've been reading some of his Italian books so I've been reading uh, Andiamo alla scuola de, de Maria let's go to the school of Mary um I find it fascinating. Um, and then I've been reading the Italian book, um, La Preghiera del Cuore, which is a, a sim- similar to the English version, just a little bit more, um, a little bit more exp- um, uh, um, widened out. But you know, all of these materials you can get with the School of Mary. Um, you have the foundations of the spiritual life, according to St. Teresa of Avila. I love this book. I like this book. I, I mean, uh, I, I found a fascinating book. I found it really practical and fascinating book. So you can get that. I hope to get this into, into Knock Bookstore. And please support um, Knock Shrine's book, bookstore. We have Hearing Jesus' Call, A Quantum Leap. Fascinating book. Um, you know, that the also talks about Lexia Divina, but also, you know, St. Teresa's conversion, the meaning of her life, the call to holiness for married people. What is the goal in life? What is holiness? Focusing on holiness. How we talk about holiness. The journey of the gift of ourselves to God. Uh, questions on union with God. The meaning of life. Bearing children for Jesus. How to emerge from a lukewarm spiritual life, etc. So this is a, a fantastic book. I really enjoyed reading it. And we have The Spiritual Journey. Uh, set The Setting for Christian Hope. Again, so these books, if you come to the School of Mary Knock, we have them available. And we'll hopefully get them into the bookstores over time. Really, really recommend you get this. And then we have our the course book for the School of Mary, which is... Um, for the eight day course is the solid foundations um, handbook and we have videos as well to go along with this so we've tons of material tons of material on the spiritual life tons of material on prayer to deepen your your um to deepen your your awareness to deepen your contact with prayer prayer sometimes i say this is a really strange sometimes we say in in our videos or something, we all need a personal relationship with Christ. That expression, personal relationship with Christ or union with God, they don't even come close to expressing what God actually does with us in prayer. You know, it's, it's, it's like it's like you have a lifelong friend you've met every single day of the year, or, you know, every day for your whole life, you know, a, a, a friend that you know very personally, even your wife, the union with God is far deeper, far more intimate, far more transforming on so many levels. And yet you, we're only scratching the surface on prayer. Sc- tiny surface of prayer. There's a whole wealth, there's a whole depth 
that you're called into. And this is where it's extremely important in the church that we that we unleash this beautiful ability for us to to know God more. God is waiting there to be known. He's waiting there to be discovered anew in the scriptures so that we meditate on them, we, they, we read them, we make them part of our life, the lives of the saints, the spiritual masters. A whole 2,000 years of wealth of people who have taken the journey to God, to union with him, and who have spoken about their journey and who will help us on their journey. You know, that's why, you know, I, I find St. Teresa of Avila a great practical woman who is able to write out and detail out her experiences on her journey to union with God. And so like I'm really encouraging because we, we what are we we'll need to look to now is to doing a second a second session of the School of Mary in 2025. So if you're interested in doing the School of Mary, in embarking on this uh, adventure of prayer, that's what I call it, on knowing Christ more. We need this in the Irish church. We need to know him more. Our faith isn't in a chapel. Our faith isn't in a in a diocese, in a structure, in a it's it's in it's in a living encounter with our God. And you know, this is why it's so important now to get, to form ourselves in catechesis, to know the faith know how how grace works in our life, know how to embark in a path of purification, yeah, know the temptations. You know, God is looking for, I'll give you a little secret, God is looking for the worst of you. Those that are stuck in shame, fear, anxieties, depressions and so forth, God is just there, come to me, come to me, come to me. He is Dying, he literally died so that those that need him could know him. You know, you can have the 20 million views or whatever, you can be the, the top the top theologian in Rome. But Christ came so that those that needed him would know him. And so that's why I'm really, really, really encouraging people to, to, to take up this challenge of... of, of um, of understanding prayer more, understanding all of these tools that the School of Mary has more, so that you can know Christ better. You know, and I am fully convinced, I am fully convinced that Our Lady wanted Jan Curry in Ireland. <laughs> I am fully convinced because I asked her and she sent him... <laughs> I asked our lady, can you send Jean Curry over to Ireland? And she did. So she must want him in Ireland to teach us something. So that we go out then and be the light around Ireland to teach others. That can, we can be a support as laity for the renewal of the faith in Ireland. You know, we need to stop badgering and pestering priests and clergy about, you know... A, a, renewal of the church and start saying well us laity can do this you know priests should be focusing on their sacramental mission you know uh, confession spiritual guidance uh, sacraments mass and so on and so forth and the laity can be catechizing we can be out there teaching the faith leading people in prayer opening the doors to prayer how to pray how to navigate the spiritual life, how to understand the problems you'll encounter, how not to be, how to work uh, on this journey. That's what Christ is calling us to. Every lay person should be alive with the faith and be missionary, even to just one person. If every person, if every Catholic made one friend once a year and brought them to the faith, we'd be doing, doing the church so much good. Because it's not, it's about an encounter. It's about an encounter with Christ. How could you not be moved when you encounter him? This is such an amazing experience. It's free. It's like winning the jackpot, the, the multi-million jackpot and saying, 
wow, this is such an incredible, why doesn't everybody have this? Wouldn't the world be transformed? Our parish is transformed. Our diocese is transformed. If we knew him, really, the risen Lord, resurrected, you know, and he is the person I met when I was 18, when I needed. Physically, audibly, not physically, audibly met. Didn't, didn't appear to me. But aud audibly met. And years later, he did appear to me. <laughs> Out walking, the crucified Christ. Appeared to me. Put your hand on my sacred heart. You know... <laughs> And Christ is, is, is doing this at this moment in time because the world is lost. The world is, is, is suffering. The world needs to know Christ. And there is no way to package this and put it in a box and sell it on eBay and here's the package of knowing Christ. It's, it's a way. It's a way. And it's all... God doing it, you know, it's it's a it's a gift. It's a gift that God wants to give us, but we have to we have to take up the challenge of wanting to receive the gift. You know, and this is it, so it's a it's a process of, of purification, of contemplating the gift that he wants to give, and of accepting this gift and allowing Christ to do so much in prayer. People forget when you go into prayer, it's not so much what you're doing there it's more about what he's doing there it's more about what he is doing in the room with you people forget this we need to spend time with him to allow him to do what he give us him to give the gifts that he needs to give us slowly over time this slow process of of loving us of sanctification theosis deification Union with God. Union with God doesn't happen in one moment of particular. It's 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 a process over your life, and this is what the church needs in Ireland. This is what the church needs. We need we need to get, to to bring souls into that school of prayer. This is what Our Lady clearly wants for Ireland. That you know her son. You know her son. That's it. He is the master that you need to encounter in prayer. Not Robert Nugent. <laughs> no, no, there's no spiritual master that will give you Christ. It's Christ that will give you Christ. But it's just preparing the room. That's all the, the school of Mary as a school of prayer is preparing the room for you to pray in. It's kind of just putting order so that we can know Christ more. That is it. That, that's my estimation. And there's so much material, guys. There is tons of material. And so I'm really encouraging, you know, I'm really encouraging you to, 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 to know the School of Prayer more, to join the School of Mary in Ireland and to go out and give it to others, to, to bring the School of Mary to every parish in Ireland. Your prayer life will be transformed. Your liturgies will be transformed. Your adoration will be transformed. Your families will be transformed. Once you understand it's not an idea, Christ isn't an idea. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh my. You know, he's real. The risen Christ is real. Let it sink down. He is real. Real, real, real. Prayer is real. His presence in prayer is real. No matter what you're going through. I don't need to wait until heaven to know him. I can I can bring heaven into my prayer room. I can open the door in here and just pull the zip and bring heaven into here. Do you understand? We bring heaven, Christ's kingdom, into our prayer, into our relationships, into the people we were around around us. And Christ works. I know this to be a million percent true because I put out something like this and then I get the feedback. Oh, I'm, I've, I did what you told me, Robert. I've gone to confession. I've gone to adoration. I've started praying. I've done this. I bought Jean Curie's book. I, th I, I think the amount of people that have bought this book 
and have given feedback. That's not Robert Nugent. That's Holy Spirit. That's what Christ does. That's the master. That's the master's work in our souls. That's his work. Because I wouldn't be capable of actually doing that in their lives, you know. But that's the power of Christ. And so, like, I'm really encouraging Catholics this year to uh, take up the take up this challenge. It will renew the church. It will transform the church. You know, uh, Christ's work in our souls transforms us. Transforms the church. It is the key that will that will set Ireland alight. <laughs> it will be, and it's interesting that that uh, that Our Lady has brought this to knock. But it's the key that will set it alight. And once Ireland is alight, you know, our parish is transformed, our diocese is transformed. You know, I'm not saying that it's going to be perfect. It's going to be trials and failures and Judases and it always happens, you know, that's life. But Christ is there to be discovered. Christ is really, 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 really there to be discovered. And, and I'm challenging you to go and meet him. Now, as I said to many people, you don't need to be subscribed to my channel. You don't need to be looking at my videos. You don't need, I mean, I'm just a very poor reflection of of what you will actually encounter in Christ. His conversation with you is going to be incredible. And I am fascinated to hear what, what he says to people, what he does in prayer, how he transforms lives. You know, because you meet people and then a year later, wow, God, you're a different person. Yeah, completely. I go into adoration every day. I pray the rosary. I've never been better. I'm not drinking. I'm off drugs. I'm not anxious. I'm not depressed. And I said, well, keep going. You're transformed. That's born again. You know, you were one person and now you're literally a different person. That's what Christ does. He comes to give you life and life in abundance. Where do you encounter that life in abundance? In having a conversation with him. Having a conversation, which is why it is so important. Lexio Divina, every day. Just want to read something here. Because it might, it might be interesting, people. Uh, the readings of the Mass, in particular, the great, a particular grace of Vatican II. And people said, wow, is there any grace in Vatican II? Just have a listen to this. Vatican II Council allowed the Church to realise anew the place of the table of the Word of God in the celebration of the Mass. With the distribution of sacred scripture throughout the liturgical years, the Church permitted God's people to be nourished more abundantly. Generally, the liturgy offers two readings, regardless of the rites. In Lexio, it is preferable to stay with these readings so as to eliminate our own human interference as much as possible from the listening process. The Church has already chosen texts, and so we receive them as coming from God. And it's the Word of God in the right of our choice between traditional Latin Mass or or, or Novus Ordo, or, or whatever right you have. If we choose the text ourselves, we introduce a factor of preference that defiles the listening process. Opening the Bible at random is neither a satisfying nor lasting solution. This is especially true because when we do this, we are expecting to find an answer to a particular problem. Now, as we will see, we must not impose on the Lord the point that he wants to discuss with us today. This is really important. You know, when I realise this, what does the Lord want to say to us? What does Christ want to say to us in prayer? We want this. We want that. I want this. You know, what? Do, once I was asking our Lord in prayer, look, Lord, where, where shall I go to Mass? I, I really love traditional Latin Mass. I really, really do. And what did our Lord say to me? I want you to go to the Mass that is nearest to you which is St. Murdoch's Cathedral. I don't particularly like the Mass there. The priests don't say the consecration as translated by the Irish, approved and translated by the Irish bishop, so I don't go to communion. Yeah, because they, they, I, I, you know, I, I, I have love for the church. I've made my, my, my stance known to the bishop, but that's where our Lord wants me to be. 
people might say, well, that's crazy, Robert. What, are you sure that's, that's even from our Lord? I don't, I can just imagine, well, Lord, what do you want to say to me here? And I, w- and I would just ask the church to unite, the Irish church to unite, to say the black and do the red. If the Irish bishops and Rome have approved an English translation of the consecration, say the black and do the red. And stop doing a performance to us and give us Christ in the liturgy. Maybe that's why our Lord has me where he has. But, you know, what do you have to say to me, Lord? I don't. I want to know what you have to say. I don't want to impose my views on you. Because it could be good, you know, to go to the Mass I prefer and to this priest that I prefer. Where does Christ want me? What do you want, Christ? Christ wants to reform and renew his church. That's what he wants. You know, Christ is present, body, blood, soul and divinity in the new Mass. Hopefully, if the priests will actually say the words of consecration as approved and translated by Rome and approved by the bishops. But, you know, until, until this craziness in the church resolves itself and until there is some order in this, you know, there will, there will be confusion. But, like, guys, Christ is there in the midst of this confusion and heresies have come and gone in the church over the centuries and heresies you'll always have. <laughs> it's the truth. You know, we've seen heresies after heresies popping up. We don't abandon the church during time of heresy. We pray more. Because God sends special graces during these times of confusion. When Rome is off with the fairies, to be honest. You know, releasing a document. Seven billion views. No document in the history of the church has got seven billion views. Which document is the most popular document ever to be read by the, on the, Cat- the Vatican's website? A document that permits what God can't bless. Go figure. Heresies come and go. We stay firm with our Lord. We don't abandon the Catholic Church. We know Christ more. We defend the truth and we fortify the church. That's what we do. And this is a time of preparation. And so you need to take it up. You need to take up the challenge of knowing prayer more, of being a master of prayer, of asking our Lord, Lord, I can't do everything, but I know I can do all things in you. So you need to do the impossible and I'll just do the possible. You can read sacred scripture every day. You can go to confession. You can live a life of grace. That's possible for you. Watch the impossible happening. He'll do it. (laughs) No doubts, no buts. Anyway, pray for the church and God bless you. I hope this didn't go on too long, but I just want to give you some a bit of encouragement on this as your journey and your life of prayer. And, uh, you know, I do encourage people again to get this book it's called praying with the heart the little way to prayer by jean Curie. it's it's the first one you can get it in a knock bookstore really encouraging you god bless you take care bye bye